One of the leading experts on small businesses published a piece in one of the major newspapers, and the title, I'm going to quote, Does Donald Trump Hate Small Businesses? <laughs> and their answer was yes. Their answer was yes. Because at the same time that Donald Trump was giving a tax cut to big corporations and billionaires, he tried to slash programs for small businesses and raise borrowing costs for them. Instead of making it easier, he actually made it more difficult for them to access capital. And that's not surprising, because Donald Trump just does not prioritize small businesses. He does not seem to value, frankly, the essential role they play. But look, when I look at small business owners, I see some of the heroes of our economy. Not only entrepreneurs, but as I said, civic leaders, community leaders, part of the glue that holds communities together. The third pillar of our opportunity economy is leading the world in the industries of the future and making sure America, not China, wins the competition for the 21st century. One of the recurring themes in American history is that when we make an intentional effort to invest in our industrial strength, it leads to extraordinary prosperity and security, not only for years, but for generations. Think of Alexander Hamilton having the foresight to build the manufacturing capabilities of our new nation. Think of Lincoln and the Transcontinental Railroad. Think of Eisenhower and the interstate highway system. Kennedy committing America to win the space race and spurring innovation across our society. From our earliest days, America's economic strength has been tied to our industrial strength. And the same is true today. So I will recommit the nation to global leadership in the sectors that will define the next century. We will invest in biomanufacturing and aerospace, remain dominant in AI and quantum computing, blockchain and other emerging technologies, expand our lead in clean energy innovation and manufacturing. So the next generation of breakthroughs, from advanced batteries to geothermal to advanced nuclear, are not just invented, but built here in America by American workers. And we will invest in the industries that, for example, made Pittsburgh the steel city by offering tax credits for expanding